Many people, when they look at the Cybertruck, think it is quite unusual. To me, when I look at the Cybertruck, I actually see a vehicle that is full of hacks. The first one relates to the law of thermodynamics. The law of thermodynamics states that energy cannot be destroyed, but only transformed into another form of energy. This form of energy is actually vibration because of the three millimeters stainless steel causes the metal not to bend, but instead spreads out through the whole skin of the door. And you can see the metal at the top and bottom of the door flex, bringing it back to its original shape. The angular shape to the top and bottom of the door has a form of a spring effect. It's bringing the metal back to its original shape. This would actually help dissipate vibration through the vehicle. Looking at the slow-mo of the Tesla armor glass, you can actually see the glass flex as the ball is dropped. Kinetic energy is the force applied to the surface. This force is transformed into vibration that spread throughout the entire surface area of the glass or stainless steel structure. This vibration dampening effect would actually happen on all the surface of the vehicle, making it very quiet to drive. Here is a closer look at the B pillar. The cutaway areas in the B pillar will absorb the impact in a unique way. Because the stainless steel is so strong, it needs three areas of weakness. They are highlighted. This means that it is designed to be bent at this point. The metal at the back has a different bend point, making the, the B pillar stronger. The triangular shape of the roof is very similar to an arch bridge that spreads its load to both sides. With the armor glass, this makes this very strong as the glass would be able to take a lot more pressure before it breaks. And the tailgate is very strong. It has three stainless steel ramp sections that you'd have to go through in the event of an in impact. The angular shape to both sides of the truck spreads the forces during an impact is a much stronger design than the traditional truck. The lights to each side of the truck are a good safety feature when the tailgate is open at night. The underfloor storage area at the base of the truck has a seal on it, thus keeping it watertight. Also, it does not need a lock, as whenever the tailgate is locked, bottom lip covers it and is not able to be opened, unless the tailgate is down. The Cybertruck 6.5 foot truck bed has secure points in each corner. Here's a closer look at the secure point at the bottom of the Cybertruck. Also there is a liftable panel at the top next to the light that has 110 volt, 220 volt and also air, air compressor for whatever tool you may be using. This could be quite useful as for any tools that will go onto the vehicle and also accessories that can fit onto the back of the Cybertruck. I can think of one myself that would be very useful. Thick TPU plastic on the hubcap would cause it to retain its shape on an impact, such as the sledgehammer that was demonstrated earlier. The high roof in this vehicle gives it more air capacity, thus acting as a diving bell in the event of the vehicle was ever to be in a flooded situation, along with decent quality door seals that are rated up to a certain atmospheric pressure. The large front trunk area goes down quite deep, thus helping protect the bulkhead, which is susceptible to flood water. Two hidden storage areas are at the back of the vehicle, one to each side. The Cybertruck's exoskeleton will make it quite light. The Cybertruck's dry skin design means to say it does not need tubular construction to strengthen the vehicle. In fact, the larger and flatter the surface area is, the more vibration dissipates throughout the vehicle. To demonstrate this, here is the floor plan of the Model Y. This design would be impossible on the Tesla Cybertruck, as stainless steel cannot be bent in this way.
This is another part of the Model Y which I find interesting to compare. The triangular beam you can see going across the back actually has very good cross bracing on it. Next to the motor compartment that is the rear section here, these two are both air pockets. This air pocket protects the induction motor from damage due to water. This design cannot be achieved on a Cybertruck. They get around this by lifting the truck bed higher up so it accommodates the motor and batteries, thus making it cheaper in construction. The black section at the bottom of the Cybertruck is actually called the skateboard. This houses the motors and batteries and controllers, saving time and money in construction of it and just needs to be bolted onto the exoskeleton. The air suspension with active dampening and an ability to change your ride height 4 inches to front or rear is of a good design. With up to 16 inches of ride height this gives the Tesla Cybertruck good off-road capabilities. Next I'm going to talk about the Tesla air compressor that is used for pneumatic tools and the air suspension. The heat pump in the Model Y is isolated from the rest of the vehicle in the same way as a washing machine's drum is isolated from the ground, thus stopping the vibration from spreading everywhere. The image you can see here belongs to the Tesla Model 3 air conditioning pump, which has good sound absorbent material and vibration, which would be very good for the Tesla Cybertruck. These two design features, I have no doubt, will be involved in the design of the Cybertruck's air compressor that can run pneumatic tools. The raised truck bed on the back of this vehicle means to say that you do not lose any space because of the wheel arches and you can use the full load space. This is why this vehicle has a slight flared out wheel arch fender that goes around each wheel thus saving space on the back. With this truck bed design you have far more space for components such as electric motors and batteries than you would have in a normal car. Let's give you more freedom of design. Cybertrucks with the two and three motors such as the all-wheel drive have some advantages over a single motor. This is to do with actual heat and the motor would build up and also wear off each motor because they would be underneath less load. The top of the range Cybertruck is said to be able to tow 14,000 pounds of weight. This is 6.35 tons, which is very impressive for an electric vehicle. Tesla's autopilot system has been recently updated as to have the ability to stop for pedestrians if they wander in front of the vehicle. As this is a large vehicle, it'll be very dangerous for them. This part of the Tesla autopilot system should always be on as it would cut down on pedestrian fatalities every year. Elon Musk tweeted about there could be a optional add-on version of a solar roof that gives 15 miles a day. This would also actually be very good for sentry mode in the vehicle, as in a normal car it is very draining to the batteries. My final thought is regarding Maxwell Technologies that Tesla owns. Could Tesla use the supercapacitors in their Cybertruck. Supercapacitors could be charged when the vehicle is parked or also when it is at traffic lights. This would take a lot of the wear off a battery because underneath a heavy load the battery does not last as long. Harsh acceleration causes the battery to overheat and thus need cooling which decreases the efficiency of the vehicle. Supercapacitors or way around this. Supercapacitors are a very good way of actually releasing a lot of energy all at once, thus causing better acceleration than you would have from a standard battery. Thank you for watching, and as always, like, share, and subscribe. Bye for now.